Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video about how to cure uh, fleas, ticks, parasites, ringworm, tapeworm, any kind of parasite really that's in your dog. Uh, it worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for you or if you're comfortable doing this mechanism, but we use this brand, Diatomaceous Earth, True Raw Choice. It doesn't really matter as long as what the brand is, as long as it's Diatomaceous Earth. Um, I use this for my dog when he actually threw up one time and had worms, which was crazy. It was so shocking and scary, and we live out in the country, so our vet was on in a different city. We couldn't get him to the vet. It was after hours. It would be emergency vet, so what I just did was I ran out to the local pet store by my house, got the diatomaceous earth, and used that in the meantime while we were waiting to get a vet appointment, and it actually cured him of his worms. Um, so I use this regularly on his food now, but when I was using it to cure his ringworm, I was doing it every single day, the same dose on his food, powder form, and I'll just show you right now how I actually add that to his food. Let's go. Okay, so here I'm just getting my dog's food ready. only 12 pounds so I'm doing one teaspoon swish it around make sure all the kibbles coated just so it's easier for him to get all the required powder that he needs and I also have this other one to help with his eyes because he has really red eyes um, it's a chemical in his tears, so I also add that in, but I'll do a separate video if you guys want me to do a video about that. It's just he has pink uh, tear stains, so I also mix that in as well, and that's all. Okay, so that's the end of that little clip. Um, basically, I, as you can see, I just shake it onto his food. If there's any powder left over after he's done, usually he'll lick it himself, but if your dog has problems, then I mix it with yogurt or something like that so that they, or peanut butter, or anything like that, that they find delicious as a little treat. It doesn't really have a taste, so they won't have a problem eating it. In my personal experience, my dog's very picky, so. <laughs> I will attach a chart right now, and it just shows the dosages, how many teaspoons each dog, depending on their weight, needs to have. Um, this can be used for cats as well. I know some farmers use it for their chickens to have sand baths in to prevent fleas and ticks. Um, so it's kind of pretty versatile, actually, this stuff. Um, now, I don't give it to him every day. I did give it to him every day for about two weeks or so, two to three weeks, um, roughly. But now I only give it to him about once a week, um, just for prevention, it's more of a um, parasite prevention mechanism because I know it works. Anyways, thanks for coming back and viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!